months afterwards, corpses were found in the mangrove swamp. In casting the 1948 film Key Largo, each actor was chosen meticulously. For the role of Frank McCloud, the lead protagonist, Humphrey Bogart was chosen for his iconic tough guy persona. Lauren Bucall was cast as Nora Temple due to her chemistry with Bogart. Edward G. Robinson was selected as Johnny Rocco for his ability to portray a menacing villain convincingly. Lionel Barrymore's portrayal of James Temple added depth to the cast. Claire Trevor won an Oscar for her role as Gay Dawn, showcasing her talent. Chemistry tests were conducted to ensure the cast dynamic worked on screen. These pivotal moments defined the casting and led to the creation of a timeless classic. What's the idea of them? They shut the electricity off, we still have... In creating the film Key Largo, the director aimed to convey a sense of tension and suspense throughout the story. Their vision was influenced by the noir genre emphasizing dark themes and morally complex characters. The director's style involved utilizing shadow and light to create a moody atmosphere, enhancing the drama of the plot. They collaborated closely with the cast and crew, providing guidance on character development and working together to ensure a cohesive vision for the movie. By drawing on their creative influences and unique directorial approach, they successfully brought Key Largo to life on the silver screen. You're right. You shouldn't have been deported. You should have been ex Key Largo, a classic film from 1948, is filled with many surprising, amusing, and heartbreaking facts that you won't want to miss. One enduring quality that makes this movie a timeless symbol of the industry is its captivating storyline and powerful performances by the actors. Lesser known facts, and anecdotes about this film continue to fascinate audiences, adding depth to its legacy. What personal memories or experiences do you cherish about this movie? Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. That's funny. You put a call in from here about 7 o'clock. Did he? Yeah. During the production of the movie Key Largo in 1948, the set design focused on creating a realistic, an immersive environment for the cast to interact in. The film utilized various locations, including actual buildings in Florida, to bring the story to life. Logistical challenges such as weather conditions and coordinating large-scale scenes were overcome through careful planning and coordination. Innovative techniques like incorporating advanced lighting setups and sound equipment were employed to enhance the overall quality of the film. Despite the challenges, the production of Key Largo successfully captured the essence of the story on screen, creating a memorable viewing experience for audiences. Yes, Set against the backdrop of a looming hurricane in the Florida Keys, the movie captures the tension and drama as a group of individuals find themselves in a remote hotel. The story unfolds with a war veteran, his widow, and the hotel owner held hostage by a gangster. The characters are intricately woven together, each with their own motivations and secrets that come to light as the storm rages outside, mirroring the turmoil within. The film skillfully builds suspense as the power play between the gangster and the war hero escalates, leading to a gripping climax that tests loyalties and morality. The cinematography captures the rugged beauty of the keys, enhancing the sense of isolation and danger faced by the characters. With standout performances from the stellar cast, the movie delves into themes of redemption, sacrifice, and the impact of war on the human psyche. As the storm passes and the dust settles, the survivors are left to grapple with the aftermath of their choices, leaving viewers with a poignant exploration of the complexities of human nature and resilience in the face of adversity. The musical score and soundtrack of the movie Key Largo were carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of this classic. Composers and musicians worked collaboratively to create a musical backdrop that heightened the tension, suspense, and drama of the film. The music was seamlessly integrated into key scenes, accentuating the emotions of the characters 
and adding depth to the storytelling. Through a combination of orchestral compositions and evocative melodies, the score effectively underscored the themes of redemption, loyalty, and sacrifice present in the movie. Composers and musicians strove to evoke specific moods and atmospheres, ensuring that the music resonated with the audience and intensified their viewing experience. Their dedication and talent brought an extra layer of richness and complexity to Key Largo, making it a memorable cinematic masterpiece. Time she begins to see things. Rats, roaches, snakes, bats, you know. Sucking a kiss is the only thing. Edward G. Robinson, a Romanian-born actor in the film, portrayed the character Johnny Rocco, who expresses discontent over being labeled undesirable after three decades in the U.S. Post-film, Robinson faced scrutiny from the Committee on Un-American Activities for alleged communist affiliations. Despite testifying as a friendly witness, he endured being gray-listed in the 50s. Robinson's possession of Leon Trotsky's autobiography raised eyebrows as well. Additionally, director John Huston's strategy to surprise Claire Trevor with a song solo, unprepared elicited a nervous and raw performance, achieving the desired effect. Noteworthy, while Key West was once the U.S. southernmost point, today it is the southern tip of Hawaii's Big Island, with Key West earning the title for the continental U.S. One of the most iconic scenes in the movie is when the storm hits the island. The director skillfully captures the chaos and intensity of the storm, creating a sense of danger and urgency. The performances of the actors during this scene are particularly powerful as they convey fear and desperation convincingly. The cinematography adds to the impact of the moment with striking visuals of the storm lashing the island. Another standout scene is the confrontation between the protagonist and the antagonist in a tense showdown. The direction of this scene is masterful, building suspense and culminating in a gripping exchange of words and emotion. The actors bring depth to their characters, showcasing their conflicting motivations and inner turmoil. The cinematography enhances the atmosphere with moody lighting and tight close-ups that heighten the tension. The filmmakers and actors have commented on these scenes, praising the director's vision and the performances of the cast. They have highlighted the intense focus and dedication that went into creating these memorable moments and how they resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact. Overall, the iconic scenes in the movie Key Largo are a testament to the skill and artistry of the filmmakers and actors involved, delivering moments that captivate and engage viewers long after the credits roll. Walk a city street in daylight with nothing to fear from the people. The time has come, Mr. Chappell, it's here. In the film, a gang of criminals holds Humphrey Bogart's character hostage, a contrast to his roles in other movies where he leads gangs. John Huston singled out Harry Lewis for his inexperienced acting pushing him to deliver a memorable performance. The character's distinctive style was Houston's creation, giving Lewis a unique presence on screen. Interestingly, the same boat appeared in both Bogart movies, serving as a subtle link between the two. Key Largo, a 1948 movie, had a significant cultural and social impact. The film resonated with audiences by portraying themes of bravery and resilience during a time of post-World War II uncertainty. It influenced pop culture by showcasing powerful performances from legendary actors like Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bucall, setting a standard for future films. Key Largo contributed to discussions on relevant social themes such as morality, honor, and the struggle between good and evil. Overall, the movie left a lasting impression on viewers, inspiring conversations about human nature and societal values. Are, Harry Lewis and his wife Marilyn, founders of the Hamburger Hamlet chain, made their mark. John Huston, the director, originally eyed Charles Boyer for a role but Jack Warner rejected the idea. The film's legacy lives on in Key Largo, 
where an annual Bogart Festival draws fans. Key Largo, a 1948 film, received critical acclaim upon its release. Critics praised the film's tension-filled atmosphere, strong performances, and Humphrey Bogart's portrayal of a disillusioned war veteran. Audiences were captivated by the suspenseful plot set in a remote hotel during a hurricane. Key reviews highlighted the film's gripping storyline and its exploration of themes such as loyalty and redemption. The movie was nominated for one Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for Claire Trevor's role as a gangster's alcoholic girlfriend. Trevor went on to win the Oscar, solidifying Key Largo's place in cinematic history. The award recognized the exceptional talent and dedication of the cast and crew involved in creating this classic film. For those involved in the production of Key Largo, the critical acclaim and award nominations represented a validation of their hard work and creative vision. Winning the Academy Award not only honored Claire Trevor's performance but also brought prestige to the entire team behind the movie. It reaffirmed their commitment to producing high-quality cinema that resonated with audiences and critics alike. Key Largo's success paved the way for future projects and elevated the status of everyone associated with the film. It's a free country. If I want a drink, I can have one. I can buy my own. Yeah. Lauren Bocall was immortalized in the 1981 song Key Largo, alongside her late husband, Humphrey Bogart. The character of Johnny Rocco in this classic was inspired by notorious gangsters like Al Capone and Lucky Luciano. Screenwriter Richard Brooks cleverly weaved biographical details of both mobsters into Rocco's persona. The iconic scene where Claire Trevor drunkenly sings Moanin' Low was inspired by a real-life mishap from World War II involving Mayo Mitha, who was married to Bogart at the time. Despite being cautioned, Mitha insisted on performing while intoxicated, delivering a performance that became a memorable embarrassment. Oh, stop hollering all that. Johnny Rocco, of course. During the filming of Key Largo, the movie's star, Humphrey Bogart, reportedly had a tough time shooting a scene due to an unpredictable hurricane that hit Florida where they were filming. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew managed to finish the scene, showcasing their dedication to completing the film. Another interesting anecdote is that actress Lauren Bucall, who was married to Bogart at the time, also starred in the film. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable and added an extra layer of authenticity to their performances. Additionally, Lionel Barrymore, who played the wheelchair-bound character in the movie, faced difficulties due to his health issues during filming, but his professionalism shone through, delivering a memorable performance. These behind-the-scenes stories provide a glimpse into the resilience and commitment of the cast and crew in bringing this classic to life. Hi, fella. Where's Johnny? In this classic, Joe Flaherty found inspiration in Lionel Barrymore's costume for a character in a comedy show. The use of a wheelchair in the film led him to incorporate it as a sign of respect in the show CTV. The main character, Frank McLeod, shares a bond through wartime experiences, having served with Nora's late husband during World War II. Director John Huston's involvement in the real battle at San Pietro, Italy, added authenticity to the film due to his documentary background. Filming took place solely at Warner Brothers Studio with on-location shooting restricted due to the previous film's high cost. Warner's decision led to innovative filming techniques in controlled environments like the studio tank to create realistic settings. The blend of real-life inspiration and studio creativity shaped this classic film into a memorable piece of cinematic history. Oh, sir. Jordan was right. Keys are different than anything I've ever seen, and, and hotter. Uh. Key Largo holds a significant place in film history for its powerful storytelling and iconic performances. This classic movie, released in 1948, has greatly influenced future filmmaking through its expert direction and captivating plot. Its impact can be seen in the way subsequent works have drawn inspiration from its nuanced characters 
and suspenseful atmosphere. Key Largo's legacy lies in its ability to create a tense and gripping narrative that has continued to resonate with audiences over the years, solidifying its status as a timeless piece of cinematic art. The film's influence can be felt in the way filmmakers approach character development and build tension within a story, showcasing how a well-crafted narrative can stand the test of time. In The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse, Humphrey Bogart, Edward G. Robinson, and Claire Trevor shared the screen long before Key Largo. Bogart's collaboration with Lauren Bucall spanned six films, culminating in their appearance in Key Largo. The film version of Key Largo deviated significantly from Maxwell Anderson's play, with character names changed and a departure from Anderson's typical faithfulness to his work during that time. The actors' history together adds depth to their performances in this classic. I miss Dawn. Miss Gay Dawn. He wants you. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bucall starred together in Key Largo, marking their last film collaboration due to Bogart's passing before a planned fifth film. The original Key Largo stage production premiered in 1939, featuring Paul Mooney and Uta hagen -Earl additionally, in the movies featuring Robinson and Bogart. Their characters met various fates, with Robinson killing Bogart once, Bogart killing Bogart once, Robinson once, and both characters ending each other twice. What's that all about? I remember those words. That makes two of us. In the classic film, a rescue train which had been requested was delayed for various reasons, including awaiting approval from a golf playing official, warming up the boiler, and navigating obstacles caused by an incoming storm. The medals visible on Mr. Temple's desk include a silver star and purple heart, symbolizing his son's military achievements. The memorable quote from the movie, echoed during the 2000 presidential election recount, underscores the themes of power and manipulation prevalent in the film. He's dead. Your Indians murdered Sawyer. In this classic Jay Silverheels, known as Tonto from The Lone Ranger, plays Tom Osceola. The film is referenced in Bertie Higgins's 1981 number one hit song. Humphrey Bogart and wife Lorraine Boo Call are mentioned in the hit 1980 song. It's rich, I guess, from the way the others jump when he lifts a finger. Out of season in this heat. During the filming of this classic, there was a situation involving a trap train in Key West. The conditions were deemed too risky for the train to return, especially during Labor Day weekend with extra cars on board. In a twist, Lionel Barrymore's character defended Franklin Roosevelt, despite the actor's personal dislike for the president, which led to a challenging performance. Barrymore's visible arthritis and wheelchair confinement added complexity to a scene where his character unexpectedly rises and falls. These unique insights shed light on the complexities behind the making of this iconic film. Tell you what, I got a proposition for you. Are you In this classic, the setting of most scenes, a ramshackle hotel was built on the Warner Brothers lot. The hurricane footage scene in the movie was taken from another film made the following year. The movie was produced in 1948, the same year as two major hurricanes that hit the Florida Keys. When the leading lady, Lauren Bucall, struggled with her role, the director John Huston pushed her to show more emotion. This classic film captures the essence of tension and mystery in a unique setting. In the movie, Humphrey Bogart and Dan Seymour acted together in a few films, including Key Largo. This film marked the final collaboration between Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson, following their appearances in earlier movies like Bullets or Ballots, Kid Galahad, The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse and Brother Orchid. Edward G. Robinson and Claire Trevor portrayed a troubled married couple once again in two weeks in another town alongside Kirk Douglas. Oh, shut up, old man. Come over here. I'd like to spit on you. Gimme. Gimme. Are you a fan of Key Largo? Share your memories and experiences with this classic film. Discuss how it influenced your views on cinema.
let's engage with likes, shares, and subscriptions for more cinematic explorations. Your voice matters, matters. Share your thoughts with us today. Got a cigarette? Did your horse win?